Hello and welcome to today's video and uh, today what I'm doing is I have got this 2 kilowatt Bluetti power bank solar generator as it's often called and I'm charging it for the very first time. Now what's interesting for those who may be thinking of something like this is the speed of charging. Now there is a Bluetti app which I've got down here and on this app we can see, I hope that's coming out, that it's taking in 461 watts from the grid and it's now loaded to uh, 51%. Now, uh, this is the first time I've actually charged this device from the grid. And uh, the reason why I, I, is because I was trying to find out how it actually works in practice. I have used a bit of solar for it. Now I've been off grid for over 30 days now, over a month. And uh, so this seems like a good opportunity to actually give it a go, see how it's working out. I also have 250 ampere hours of um, a um, habitation in my habitation battery and I've got 380 watts of solar on the roof and I've got a couple of other or three other uh, devices like this this one here but but uh, much smaller so this gives me an opportunity to actually see now you can hear in the background how large how loud the charger is working and so that might be something which would put people off so i would suggest unplugging it before you go to bed um, i think the noise that it's making actually I, i'm not at all a light sleeper but i think that would probably get on my nerves after a while now with my vehicle though i just cannot hear the charger at all despite its age this is a Heimer b514 from 2006 and uh, really, I just can't, I can hear a little click when it comes on, but that is all. Now, uh, an interesting feature with this Bluetti is that you can charge it though from two sources at once. And that's what I'm now gonna do. I'm gonna turn on the solar. So the solar is now turned on. Let's see what happens on the, uh... there you see, it's now pulling in 107 watts of solar. How come I can manage to pull in 107 watts on the solar panels? Wow, in one go. Well, I've cheated actually. It's connected to uh, it's connected to another battery. Sorry, I just wanted to demonstrate it and I didn't want the thing to not to work as I was doing it. But what is curious here is that you can have uh, you can charge from two sources at the same time. So that's quite good. On the other hand, I'd have to say that 462 as it's pulling in at the moment, that is um, not a lot compared to others. There are others which m with much faster chargers. And now I personally think that uh, if it's on a fast charge, often it could damage the battery. I don't know with the modern technology if that's always the case. But as far as my uh, mobile phone's concerned, for example, I always charge it on slow trickle charge when I can. I only use the fast charge uh, when I really must have something quickly. Um, I uh, don't know if that's correct or not, but if anybody's got any evidence to the country, uh, then then please, uh, please say so. Please give a source as well. So... Um, I've been using this Bluetti now here, this thing, for, um, well, I've been using it for some time, <laughs> really, but uh, I use it a large sheet for these things here, so the, um, uh, get shore power, so I'm using this to power my computer. The machine, the device, lives under the seating group, under the table. So you can see where the table is and behind the driver's chair. The, this, I find being under the table, it's a suitable location for it uh, because uh, it's easy access to the table where work is to be done. It also occurred to me that if there were two of us in it here at the same time, we've got four plugs here and we've got, I've got another two down there with my inverter, which is hardly visible at the moment. And uh, there's actually another plug um, connected to the uh, habitation battery uh, above the table as well. This vehicle only has three 
uh, plugs in it. Okay, it was it's a 2006 model. Um, one is in the kitchen, the other one's in the toilet, and the other one is hidden uh, behind where the television cabinet is. So it's okay for the television, but not much good for anything else. Unfortunately, it didn't come with anything round the table, and I think that today that might be seen as a bit of a um, bad planning. Uh, in my opinion, others may, may disagree, but I think where you really do need a plug is at the table. Of course, in those days... Um, I think that if when people have bought the van, they weren't buying it to actually work in very often. I think, I mean, I, I think the amount of people I come across now are working in vans uh, compared to what it was when I started out in 2011. Is, uh, it's, it's much greater than it was. So uh, I know a lot of people think that these... Uh, this bit, these solar generators, power power banks, large power banks, are a bit of a gimmick, and it's not worth it because of the cost of buying something like this. Uh, you could easily buy them more um, uh, habitation batteries. That is true. You could buy more habitation batteries. What this has got though is everything is included. So you've got all of this output. Uh, which you might need and some of these things I've got I've got a clue what they are um, and you've got um, the input as you can, see, you can carry it out now this thing here is uh, over 30 kilos so it's a bit uh, heavy to actually carry out with me uh, I mean I could give it a go but um, <laughs> it, it, I found it quite difficult so I was carrying it for two but but it does have that advantage let's face it you can't carry out your habitation batteries and not only that the this can be used in other um, applications as well now in my case I have now with all of this uh, stuff I've got in it now I, I can be off grid from March until the end of October uh, completely um what i wanted to do is i really that's what i believe anyway um i am um, i've also got outside a uh, um, flexible uh, solar panel which i'll show in a different video and that is uh, powering the smaller units i tried it with this one as well to power it but it uh, really it was taking a very long time also there was a problem with that. i didn't have the cable it came with just wasn't long enough to do anything with so um i uh I've ordered now um, 12 meters of cabling, two six meter cables, and so that uh, I'll be allowed be able to uh, sort of walk around the outside of the van with the cables and um, to get the best sunlight at any given time. Now the thing is this though, I did find using um, the smaller units last year that uh, I, during the day it was producing more power than my. Um, computer was consuming so my uses are number one it's the computer uh, other electrical equipment um, I, I haven't really got a lot I mean I tried this as an experiment with uh, boiling uh, uh, the kettle uh, to see how long it would take and um, the uh, uh, it, it, okay it was it took about eight percent I think it was of the um, uh, the, the power uh, that was it that was in it and you know, see some messages are coming through so I'll just <laughs> put that to one side that's a, a mate, mate of mine who I went to see yesterday and um, so that is the uh, that that's the that would be the, uh, the the main the main use I also have a coffee uh, th th for grind sorry for a grinder which okay doesn't take much power and I also have a um, a food blender which I hardly ever use so uh, that's it in general I don't think cooking from these things is a good idea I mean I, I boiled water on it as an experiment okay maybe if you know you, you, you're off grid somewhere you, you're producing huge amounts of electricity and you're not using it then okay then you can save a little bit of gas if you want to but gas at the end of the day really is uh, it's very efficient and it's very cheap as well so, uh, well, I say it's very cheap. I think it's uh, compared to what it actually does for you. Uh, living in a van for the gas use is a lot cheaper than living in a house, in my opinion. So, um, uh, but I think people cooking from these things, I, I can understand there are problems now in Germany with uh, cooking, but uh, 
then it's um, with the with the gas gas cabinets and having to get um, a certification. Uh, I, I do appreciate that one. Now, uh, as a rule, it doesn't sit here. I left it here so it was more visible. It normally goes at the back against the seat there, and and allowing this chair here also uh, the driver's seat to actually turn around. So good. So thank you very much for watching this. I hope you found that of interest and of use. It's above all the noise I wanted to actually demonstrate to you. So uh, now you can, you, you've, you've heard it. The uh, the other one, incidentally, the the um, the solar it obviously makes no noise at all, uh, and it isn't it isn't normally coming in at 107, 108, as I said. So uh, all the best from me in Poland on the road. And bye for now.